<laughs> Make up a strength check. Oh, God. Oh, Sixteen. Sixteen. Not to touch the knuckles. What is going on? I had time. This has never happened before. <laughs> he's now, you know, keeping his hand at the side. He's like, he's trying not to grasp the edge of the table, which is technically against the rules. But he's like, Ugh. looking around at everyone watching and realizes the sheer amount of attention that's put on the fact that this tiny little gnome is now keeping him at a standstill. I shout table. out from the crowd, Scarlet! Scarlet! Pike is here. Ooh. She's astrally projected in. <laughs> Natural one. <laughs> With that moment of distraction, what? you look around for <laughs> wham! Your knuckles hit the table. Oh, <laughs> oh, <my>. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers go on. Everyone shouts happily. <laughs> you idiot! All the blood rushed somewhere else. That's not my fault. I had him. I had him. Oh. The damages to the nervous Brook pub are estimated to be upwards 450 gold pieces, and the fine for drunken battery and disturbing the peace amounts to 250 gold pieces, 700 total, and I would gladly let you take that rabid dug grubber off my hands. You'll watch what you say about her. <laughs> Will I? Shush, performer. Well, sir, I appreciate your candor. I appreciate the cut of your jib. Uh, and I appreciate that you are a man of honor and of your station. Obviously, we will pay for the damages out of your troops' pockets. Uh, your Majesty, are you sure you don't want to write a check from the Treasury? Quite. I've got the checkbook with me. We could just write a check. We will write a check for our friend's pocket, but for the damages, I feel that some responsibility must be taken. Your brand of subterfuge is not what I had in mind. <laughs> <laughs> what good is such subterfuge when there's such an opportunity to create a ballad, some sort of ballad about a cautionary tale? <laughs> I could have picked anyone to be with me here. Not in this. You, you're rubbing my face you in it because I threw your gun in the lava. You so poorly. You chose so poorly. It is truly impressive how poorly you chose. Warden. Musician. This is just like this bastard. He always goes around trying to boss people around and throw his money around, and I turn and I punch Percy in the face. <laughs> okay, <laughs> roll for an attack. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, no. oh, 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 go for another one. Off the rails. Uh, a nine? <laughs> Probably not. Plus your strength modifier. I don't have any strength. Negative eight. One, so that's ten. Ten. Percy, do you take it? Yes, I take it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whack! A solid hit across the face. You have to kind of lean into it and make it look more impactful than it really is. Um... Oh! <laughs> and then I turn around oh! and I punch a guard. Oh my god. Okay, Where roll, are you going with roll this? Another oh shit! <laughs> I'm assuming it's all going 13. well. 13. 13. You whirl around and one of the guards is rushing forward to try and break this up, and as you swing towards him, your fist collides with the side of his helmet. It definitely kind of shakes him for a second. It doesn't do much in the way of damage, but it does kind of hurt your knuckles a little bit. Now the guard's like, oh, and stumbles back a bit. I've just had it enough with all of you people. We performers demand respect and deserve it as well. The warden now stepped forward, has put his hand on the side of his blade, and says, am I to understand you walked in here and immediately struck a guard of the stockade? I've just had it up to here with being bossed around by people like him. Well, would it make you feel better if he's thrown in prison? It would. It would make me feel better if he was thrown in prison. Oh, don't worry, you'll both be going. <laughs> About this time I come over the, the, the earpiece and I go, how's it going in there, guys? Great, great, great. great. <laughs> Everything's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> just let me know if you need me. I'm waiting out here. No. Okay. I'm glad I came in handy for that field trip. Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> Burn it down! Burn the stockade down! <laughs> I'd also like to point out no. Grog's single nut flick did more damage than your two full-on punches. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. <laughs> Whoa. It took me weeks to forge it. This is beautiful. 
Ooh. Can I hit something with it? Sure. What can I hit with it? Scanlon, where, where are you? I take ten, Scanlon, come ten pieces oh, back that right away. <laughs> if you stand right there. Oh, sure, sure, whatever you need. I'll reach back halfway <laughs> and give like a quarter measure. Whoop! Oh. Right into Scanlon. Maybe a jackal. I thought you were going to... We'll say with disadvantage, because you are taking a half measure. <laughs> oh, about the same as the firebrand-ish? Uh, it would be, it, it's technically non-magical. Okay, so oh, 14. 14. Oh. Uh, you managed to just barely see this thing coming towards you and woof, you just duck beneath it. I thought you were going to tell me a dirty joke or something. <laughs> <laughs> when you say come here, that usually that's what that means. No, I want you to try out the hammer. Oh, well then, no. <laughs> Try it on Vax. I'm already 20 paces away. Vax! <laughs> Vax! I go stealth. Yeah, we'll stealth. Vax! <laughs> 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 Shit! 27. Two. <laughs> I, 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 As you uh, might, to look around, Vax is nowhere to be seen. I, I literally just pivoted around my sister and pressed her. <laughs> <laughs> Marrying the, doing exactly what she does. I'm gonna use a minor illusion to make a really shitty vax. Just like a really cruddy looking like slightly vax. Slightly melted. Not a Vaseline. Oh shit, it's too late. Too late. <laughs> so, uh, as you're looking around, you see this strange quiver of, of shadow that seems to formulate in the air. And uh, this, this awkward still Unmoving, uh, <laughs> uh, awkward mannequin type visual recreation of Vax just kind of muddles stuff there. I need you to remember an insight check. Please be low. <laughs> or. <laughs> Finally! <laughs> Vax cannot evade your vision this time, bro. <laughs> just stand right there. Well, <laughs> I swing down in an arc to try okay. and get With this weird, awkward half grin just frozen in place, <laughs> the hammer whoosh, streaks down through this form and passes completely through it, slamming into the mud beneath, splattering mud up and around you, across your chest, and for a brief instant, Vax completely seems to have evaded the attack. <laughs> I killed him! <laughs> it's all over me! His bits are all over me! Look at you! Oh. My brother! What did you give me? It's a hell of a hammer, with isn't that, it? With that, the illusion is dissipated, <laughs> and Vax is no longer there before you. <laughs> I've killed him! I've killed poor Vax! Come here, darling. <laughs> what is this evil monstrosity? No, 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 no. Come here, come here. And I lead him My around God. the side of Vex. And hey. hey, big You're man. alive! <laughs> yeah. Come here! up! Yeah, I'll give a big old squeeze. <laughs> and I squeeze a little tighter and make sure it doesn't turn into mud. It turned into mud last time. <laughs> the harder he squeezes you, you fear you may turn into mud. <laughs> oh, uh, did it hurt? Did the moon hammer hurt you? No, no, I was able to dodge both ways apart and then, <laughs> and then came back together. Oh. <laughs> it's my cloak does that. Shit, this is like, we're gonna save this for the really nasty fellas. Yes. All right, I'm gonna put this in a bag. All right. <laughs> you know, if like a kid or Scanlon or, or Pike sees it, she'll be so furious. Yeah, she'll be terrible. All right, I'll put it in a bag. <laughs> All right, All right. At, at, at this point, Kima has pulled the small flask out and just takes a swig. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've missed you. <laughs> Can you give me a swig? Give me a swig of that. Come on. Best friends forever. Oh. <laughs> Respect. Yeah. I thought we were gonna train. I thought we were gonna fight. Yes. Well, Trinket actually wanted some training with his cannonball. If you will stand still, so he can run into you a few times, that would be well. I feel like there's a problem with this idea, but I'm not sure what it is, so I do it. <laughs> okay, Trinket comes along with you and, can, in a very confused manner, attempts to train with you for a short time. It's been a while since we wrestled a bear, so it's kind of fun at it's times. Fun, right? Look, I know I usually like hit back, but apparently your mum thinks you can cannonball into me, so like, 
give it a go. Go ahead, try, drink it. Trinket backs up, looks over at you again, like, are you sure? Across the sand flooring, into a giant rolling attack oh, towards fuck. you. Uh, that is going to be, uh, what's Trinket's attack bonus? Oh god, you're really doing it. Yes! Um, yes, that's the point of this, is Numbers to get things. Trinket to run into you is the point. His attack bonus is um, plus eight. Plus eight, that's a 23 to hit. You yeah, it hits. <laughs> you go ahead and take seven points of bludgeoning damage. All of them. And you're not prone. <laughs> we'll, we'll save this, we'll go make a strength saving throw. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. uh, uh, 26. Oh. So, Trinket rams into you and you hold firm and kind of flex, conversely, the giant bear bounces off, kind of stumbles back on a Trinket's butt. Mm, that was pretty good. <laughs> I liked it a lot. Licks you right along the face. Beard kind ah. of calyx up a little bit. <laughs> I think this might be a good look for me. <laughs> How do we get to stay? You find yourself to breakfast. A delightful spread of breakfast chickens prepared for you. <laughs> uh, I pick one up off the table and I say, "Hey, Vex." Ah, oh, shit! Uh, I'm not even on my... <laughs> <laughs> All of you duck instinctively as the chicken has enough time to arc and begin to plummet down before she gets her arrow out, and you see her aiming downward as it falls as she releases the arrow. Um, it manages to catch it. Go ahead and roll for an attack. Okay. See how well it hits. Oh, that's good. Uh, 30? Oh. No, wait, 28, 28, 28. <laughs> it pins the chicken to the wall, which then it the sags and the, the, the wooden shafts like snaps on the weight of the chicken before it hits the ground. One of the servants scoops it up and sets it back on the table in front of Felix with the broken arrow shaft sticking. That's a shake. That's a shake. Um, I like that game. It's my new favorite game. You want some more broom target practice? I need to practice with you this You do brew. need to practice, seriously. I need, but I mean, we, we have more chickens. We've got stuff to do. Yeah, we have stuff to do. And I'm I still eating. I would I love to see you for five one. minutes get up on that broom and fly around and, and fucking yeah, sure. put some arrows and some chickens. All right, chickens. fine, I'll fucking practice. I'm um, still does eating. It ha- does it help me at all to practice on or this the, broom? Uh, uh, <laughs> it helps me. I will, I will command seven servants to each have a, a loaded pigeon, uh, a chicken at the ready. All right. Pull! Yeah. Yeah. I, I, start, I start flying. Vax, you can, you can do the honors and say the pulls. I clench really hard with my thighs to try to hold on to this All broom. Right. As, as the rest of you enjoy what is the strangest of medieval times experience that you've had. <laughs> uh, Let's go, the green knife! <laughs> Glancing Huzzah! upward to the raised ceiling of this dining room area. You watch Vex spiral around on her broom before Scanlan. Vex is saying pull. Pull! Oh, oh God. The disadvantage. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Say it. Say it. Oh. One. It's the easiest number to count to. So, as the first chicken goes in the air, she reaches and goes to aim. However, she catches herself, the broom kind of throws her off, and she stops just in time oh, and goodness. haphazardly me, focuses <laughs> on just the chicken, not realizing where the chicken had now fallen past, releases it. Uh, oh, shit. Scanlan, I don't want you to make a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> Duck hunts a bitch. Dex? <laughs> Nine. <laughs> Go ahead and roll damage for your... Uh, <laughs> no. Okay, okay, that's not that bad. Damage? Yes. Oh, it's automatic hit? Yeah. Okay. Oh no. Oh nice. A full, full damage. <laughs> Naturally. Oh my god. Oh, that's 17. <laughs> so, Scanlan, as you're watching this chewing, suddenly. Oh shit! Scanlan, Scanlan, I'm so sorry! I land, I land. <laughs> I land and I instantly, like, cast cure wounds on him. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I think old chicken just dangling at the end of the arrow. Why? Why can't I help them? I'm just down. applauding. There's blood everywhere. I'm just applauding. <laughs> Again! Again! I tried to pick up my chicken and I throw it at Scanlon. 
Does this mean when the night's over, there's gonna be a little pool of blood where the door was? <laughs> <laughs> No. Yay! Oh, oh my <laughs> abs are just so good. Go ahead and for healing. Oh god, oh god, okay. Um, <laughs> as Vice reaches out and grasps you and it manages to heal some of your wounds. Oh good, that's good. Uh, do is it, it's just 1d8? Does it, do I add anything? 1d8 plus your wisdom modifier. Plus my wisdom modifier. Oh. Uh, uh, 11. So you heal 11 hit points. Oh, can I pull out the arrow? Sure. <laughs> a gout of blood kind oh, of sprays out. I just hold my hand there. Mike, <laughs> can you help? Oh. I'll help, I'll help. Okay. That room is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it, Pike? Oh. Yes, and there are too many chickens in here anyway. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. We're healing scandals. Pike, is Pike is casting a cure wounds? Yes, I'll cast cure wounds. <laughs> <laughs> the wound closes as Pike reaches out and with a small chuckle heals. <gasps> How many hit points? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> the chicken comes back to life. <laughs> what, what did you say? Uh, uh, how, how much do you heal? Roll 1d8 plus 5, I'm pretty sure. That's good. That was amazing. Sorry, sorry Scanlan. You can blame my brother. Alright. So, I'm back. You're back. You're back. You're back to full. The wounds close. Pike's there, holding her hands on your shoulders, closing the wound. Thank you, Pike. Thank, thank God welcome. you were here. It's like a special Muppets episode of <laughs> All right, well, let's say breakfast is over. Right. Oh, hey, by the way, take your fucking shoes off and give them back to me. Oh, what, these fabulous shoes that fit me perfectly? Yeah, give them to me or I'll just take them while you're sleeping, easily. You easily. think you could do that, like I wouldn't so notice you sneaking up. So fucking easily. I don't believe it. Keep your boots then. All right. See if they're there in the morning. All right. <laughs> I've commanded ten of my invisible guards to protect Vex's feet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bless you. Vex? Okay. So in the middle of the night, uh, I'd like to swing by I'm, the kitchen. I'm sleeping with them tucked like up under me. I'm gonna sleep like... <laughs> You know how little kids sleep with their butts in the air and their feet are tucked like up under them? That's how I'm, that's how Okay. (laughs) Okay, I go by the kitchen Mm -hmm. and I get a a mug of water (laughs) and some some spices. All right. Just some various, you know, simple stuff. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to sneak into my sister's room. Uh, I would like to check the door for traps. (laughs) Uh, Go for it. (laughs) Go go make an investigation check. It's not very high. <laughs> uh, oh no, I see, yes it is, it's a 20. All right, uh, it does not appear to be trapped, however it is locked. Okay, I would like to pick that lock. Do I notice this happening? 30, you're sleeping. Uh, yeah, no. but I have a really good passive perception, bitch. All right, 30 on the trap. <laughs> right, good. or uh, on, on the lock, you mean. On the lock, yeah. Uh. Okay, I would like to sneak in. Ever so quiet, ever so quiet. You make it into the, the room, put the door close to close, but not entirely. Uh, you look up and what little bit of low firelight is coming from a distant fireplace in the far corner that's down to like very, very simple embers. You see drifting in a semicircle around the bed, 10 spiritual servants, all arms crossed, <laughs> just staring right at you. Protecting her feet, right? Uh, that was the command. Protect her feet. Protecting that her feet. The, that yeah. was the command. I walk yeah. in, I'm not on her feet. Yeah, I want nothing to do with her feet, guys. I just want those shoes that she's hugging. No, no, no. I want to try to take them I have the gently. shoes on my feet. All... You said you were hugging them up here like this? No, 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 what I said I'm sleeping with my feet tucked up under Damn. me. Like how? Like, like Cirque Like child's Soleil? pose, no, like child's pose, like yoga, bitch. You know what I'm talking about. People do don't make me that way. With your feet here. Like no! Your butt. <laughs> That's what she said. Like Demonstrate this. on this. the table. There you go. Like, when a kid's sleeping with Here, I'll show you, sorry guys, no, you don't get to see. But it's like this, Liam. Okay. Oh, that it's is fine. So vulgar. <laughs> well. No, it's not. <laughs> okay. Guys, this is a little bit of family trouble. Just give me a minute. And then I leap on top of her and I take the cup of water and I splash it in her <gasps> face and I throw flour on her face like that. <laughs> Give me my boots! Yeah. Give me my boots! You give me my damn boots! You are. <laughs> you are immediately pulled off of the bed, slammed onto the ground of the floor as all the spirits. I didn't get to roll! What did you do? 
No. No you dexterity to nothing? <laughs> no, because the, the moment that you go ahead and splash the water and go yeah. towards her, they're on top of you. This isn't about dodging. Wait, wait, alone. wait, wait, what's happening? Don't attack him! Right. Don't attack him. It's, it was less of you trying to avoid him more than just seeing if they can grab you. Yeah, okay. Um, so you're, you're <laughs> halted off and slammed under the ground and they're just holding you there. They're not attacking you, they're just holding you. Your uh, eyes are flower? watery. It's awful. Give uh. me my boots, you greedy shitbird. What, you think, you think I was really gonna keep them? I want them now. I don't trust you as far as I can throw you. I want you to put them just keep holding me up, guys. I want you to put them on my feet now. But they look so good on me. Now! And your feet are so smelly. <laughs> are you mad? Are you, are you, I gave are up you my life for you. You did. I will have my shoes, please. One of the servants right. begins like slowly going towards your foot. and They're smelly. They're really smelly. <laughs> See? We should cap them, right, boys? <laughs> What you, you if think any of my servants are boys? <laughs> <laughs> I assume I assume they have both sets of parts, actually. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Amazing. I suppose I could part with them. Waiting. <laughs> Wait, 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 ah, oh, I'm not putting them on your feet. Sure you are. No, I am not. <laughs> but before I do, I want payment for these boots. What's going on with you and Keyleth? <laughs> right here, I'll give you this boot if you tell me. Uh, if I could rescind my deal with an all-powerful deity and uh, let you fall to the ground, or you could hear about my personals. What's your choice? What? Oh. <laughs> Give me my fucking <laughs> You love her? You love her? You love her so much. Take one. Right here. <gasps> if you put it on, cover up at least one foul stench in the room. No, I can't because they're holding me around their arms. Oh, well. Two of the servants yeah. take the boot from her and start putting it on yeah, your see? feet. Yeah. That's so helpful. Kind of polish it a little bit. <gasps> <laughs> Does she feel the same way about you? Ask her. <gasps> Maybe I will. Fine. Here's your other boot. The servants. They take it and they kind of hold you down, even still forcefully, grab your other leg and gingerly put the other boot on, mm. polish it. Now go it. to sleep. We fought a dragon yesterday. <laughs> I, I love you, but you are a terrible person. And I walk out the door. <laughs> <laughs> and you walk away. I spent uh, 15 minutes getting all the flour off of my bed. Side so note, um, I, I have an earring as well, and I heard everyone go down to the hot springs, so I went yes. back to the kitchen and I got some of that chicken sorbet that they mm. make here. Delicious. <laughs> And I went back to my sister's room <gasps> and I pulled the blanket down and I just smeared it all along the inside of the bed and I bring up the blanket and tuck it in nice. It looks perfect. The it ten servants nice. watch the whole thing and just nod. Well done. That's disgusting. Oh. They had their orders. <laughs> you are the worst of us. Good night, boy girls. <laughs> you guys go find your way to your respective rooms, rest for the remainder of the evening, wake up to the smell of wonderfully cooked chicken wafting through the hallways of the... <laughs> The mansion. Oh, yeah. um, the only person that has a unique evening sleeping would be Vex, who slides into her comfortable silk sheet bed to a uh. cell to find some sort of now chilled but loosely room temperature chicken paste. That is just uh. disgusting. <laughs> don't you mean that's 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 foul? I don't even. Yeah. Oh, oh, I know. Thank you. Uh, okay. Oh, foul. I don't even care. Trinket like, loves it. <laughs> And Trinket, it's all over that. Trinket, yeah, Trinket is now is just like, lapping oh. it up from the inside yeah, of the bed. I just it's getting uh, weird. Go to sleep and I'll take a shower in the morning. Okay. I ran out of dinner super fast and I ran outside of Vax's room and I took the jug and I whispered into it, oil. And I poured one quart of oil on the ground outside of his door. Looked around real quick. <laughs> Is there anyone in the hallway? Uh, make, a, make a perception check. <laughs> Ten. Looks clear. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll run away. <laughs> Gonna go to my room now and see if I splat on the floor. All right, make a perception check. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
bring money, no whammy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, proud for you. Sorry, buddy, it's a 31. <laughs> As you approach the door, you look down and see a smear of dark reflective oil across the walkway, about two feet leading up to your uh, room. You guys have a cluster of rooms in this long hallway. And, it, and, and it, it arcs around like an L. So you guys are in like this big L of all your rooms kind of scattered throughout. Uh, how thick is it? Is it viscous? Yeah, it's pretty slick. My hand in it. Does it, does that stay? Oh, the hand stays for a minute and goes away. Yeah, it's pretty thick. All right. It also mm. has, has a fume to it. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to scrape a bunch of it uh, up just into my hand. So I have a big handful of it. And I'm just going to go to Grog's room. And I'm going to slowly, just at the door, uh, take time to write Grog smells <laughs> like farts. <laughs> and. I walk by as he's doing this and say, Do you want to help? You know he can't read, right? <laughs> <laughs> I picked specifically small words. <laughs> Poo. Oh, well, he can read that. <laughs> and I draw, I then, no, I tell you what I do. <laughs> Pull down my breeches. And I put the oil on my butt and I go. <laughs> <laughs> well, butt print. Little signature. Oh, All right. Should I check the bag of holding oh, now? Yeah, look yes. in it. Can I reach in for a fancy robe? Yeah, bought a fancy robe. Oh, awesome. Good. I wind it up like a towel and I smack Max on the ass <laughs> super oh, hard. It's fucking hell, I don't even roll for it. Bare <laughs> ass. Bare <laughs> ass. Like, I get it really good. Like, what? Grog. Grog. Yep. Brother, I'm so happy to be alive. Yeah, me too. Here you go. Wait, is this the one? Uh. No, no, it's a fancy robe. It's just regular robe. You sure? Yes. I'll yeah, put it on, like partner. <laughs> Kima, have you any ideas? She goes, here, let me have a look at you. Yes. She kind of pulls you down to her position, <laughs> just pushing your eyelids open. Yeah, be very thorough. <laughs> Grog, you want to help me with this? Yep, absolutely. Open your mouth, stick out your tongue. You're not going to slip me the digit, are you? Slip out your tongue. I'm not going to. <laughs> I'll grab his tongue. Uh, Kima, you see anything in there? Uh, any bumps, mumps? Uh, just a... Uh, Seems tired to me. Pull his tongue a little bit more. Uh. Ah, okay. I'm released, I'm released. Oh, fuck. Into my sister's room with a bowl of hot, like, lukewarm soup, like lentil soup, and go, oh, God, I'm still sick! Whoa! No, no, no. And I throw it all over her. He's such an asshole. <laughs> Woo! Still got it, baby! And I run back to my room and go to bed. <laughs> Uh, I go take a shower. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best day of my time. You look great up there. Thank you. Thank you. I but you should me. not have stolen oh, that. Oh, I know, I know, it's he terrible. He was our friend. How, how he helped bad us. of a person am I? I'm a horrible person. He called, we should do something a to horrible. repay I'm, the debt. No, I tried, no, I tried. I was going to give him a lot of dragon scales and he wandered away. I mean, We can't can possibly we find him now. Well, how, how do I help him? Because I feel if terrible. If you can't help him, you're going to have to help someone else to, to pay, make up for To it? make up for the, the lost karma. I will help as many people as I can while I'm flying through the air. <laughs> Perhaps <laughs> I will pick someone for you to help someday. To repay us both. I think that's a deal, Scanlan. All right. I will mark that down. <laughs> What are you, like a hag now? Yeah. I sit no. on it and I open the door and I fly through the doorway. She drifts Ooh. out of the room. The door <laughs> shuts behind her. You're gonna be one of those Segway assholes now. Yes, totally. <laughs> I, I'm here to buy you just one quick thing in particular, then we'll be on our way. I just want a very tall hat. Just a very tall black hat. With tall. A, with a point. Like, point at the top. proportionally tall or like regular? Like a big triangle hat. Hmm. Like a wide brim, like a wide black hat, just like this. <laughs> <laughs> she kind of thinks for a second. I don't care anything right. like that, yeah, but I can make you what? something if you don't mind waiting a bit. Uh, I could come <laughs> back for it another day, perhaps. Oh, well, at least let me measure your head, sweetie. It's not for me. Mm, do you know the size of who it's intended for? 
Well, her head's about a little bigger than mine. I'll make it adjustable. All right. right. <laughs> I go to see Vex real quick. Yeah, oi, you, oi. Hey, what's going Remember on? When I, I, I did you a favor, and you, I, you came to my room, and I taught you how to fly the broom. I very much remember that. You kind said of... you owed me one. I owe you so much. Here's here's the payback. Oh no. You have to wear this fucking hat every time you fly. <laughs> this. <laughs> This pointy motherfucker. Oh, oh my yes. God. That was a long walk. Such a long walk. Wow. Playing the long game. How's it look? It looks really cool. Well, there you go. <laughs> I will gladly do this for you, Scanlan. Thank you. Does this mean we're even? This hat makes us even? That would make me so happy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the debt is paid. Wow. As she cackles loudly, the hat atop her head, it's everything you hoped for. Everything you hoped for. Oh, Vex, that hat is amazing! <laughs> oh, you devious motherfucker. Wow. I fucking like it. <laughs> I, I appreciate it. The silhouette is beautiful on you. It's very it's aerodynamic. Mind. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. If you're going straight up. <laughs> <laughs>